Hey everybody, it's time to do another soggy garden update. We have had more rain today. Um, as you can tell, that standing water here, actually some of this looks like it's still moving. One reason why I put my raised beds out here, um, because my yard slopes down. And as you can see, water just comes zooming on down past this stuff. Huge advantage to raised bed gardening is uh, your, your plants are basically in containers. So the soil drains really good. Um, so, and you can also harvest this stuff um, even though it's wet. The soil is wet. You don't have to step in the boxes to go after your plants like I do for my traditional garden. So, um, disadvantage of that is it, I don't see one really. <laughs> so, uh, building the box maybe and uh, maintaining the soil, but uh, you really can't beat this if you've got the room to put in some raised beds. And um, I would just recommend starting small and seeing what you can do. But anyway, let's go through some of this. Here's my uh, containers, and uh, this stuff is wrapping up here. I got to harvest these uh, banana peppers, and uh, I've harvested a bunch of my tomatoes off of here, and some bell peppers. Um, you can see the cherry has gotten really tall, and uh, also that's the uh, what are they call jelly bean tomatoes and I got to tell you this is just my opinion um, I don't think they taste that great uh, and I'm not sure if I'll grow them again compared to a, a traditional cherry tomato um, just not all that impressed and I've let the, I didn't know if I picked them early um, so I let a I let a few of them just stay on there till they were bright red and uh, just I just don't like the taste that's just me maybe um, if y'all like to grow those you could try see what you think got some tomatoes back in there that uh, this stuff right here probably caused by all the moisture uh, maybe blight or something but these tomatoes will be wrapping up pretty soon not too concerned about it um, just waiting to uh, harvest all these romas and uh, on average, I probably harvest about mm, maybe about 30 tomatoes a day. And uh, I think I've got plenty more to come. Here are my shoes. Ugh. Uh, let's look and see how much rain we had today. So the night before last, we had close to three inches of rain. And today, this is over two inches of rain so uh let's take a look at some of this enjoyed the water it looks like and they have taken off they're making their way across the uh raised bed and i haven't looked through here in a couple of days but mostly all i've seen is male flowers uh, so hopefully it won't be too long before i start seeing some female flowers and these were uh plants that I saved seed out of one of my sprite melons that I purchased uh, from last year and decided I wanted to try to grow them so maybe we'll get a few out of there uh, this is my squash bed just picked a uh, straight neck squash out of here looks like I'm gonna have at least another one in a couple of days or maybe another day that one will be ready and uh, they've really done good this is my second batch of uh, straight neck squash and zucchini second batch second uh, planting <laughs> um, and last year about this time I had issues with uh, squash vine borers um, and this year I decided to make sure that didn't happen so what I tried to do is keep some uh, soil here up above I mean right on the uh, base of the plant so I keep them covered up because that's what happens the, the squash vine borer is um, it's really a fly that comes along and will lay its little egg inside of the base of this plant and then a little worm comes out and eats just destroys your plant 
So I have decided that I'm going to try to prevent that this year and just keep a little bit of this soil piled up around the base. Looks like I got some zucchini that'll be putting off some blooms soon. Anyway, uh, there's also other methods to doing that. Um, you can also, I read that you can take aluminum foil and wrap it around the base of the squash and that keeps them from doing that too. But uh, the soil piled up around the base seems to be working so far. Uh, here's uh, some of my Romas and my um, celebrities. Look at this celebrity. That is huge. That's one of the biggest tomatoes I've grown, I think. Uh, and it's sitting right next to another one. And there's some more down here. So, uh, pretty cool. This one's starting to turn. Um, and these celebrities have put off some decent sized tomatoes. Pretty big. Some of the biggest that I've harvested thus far this year. Not many tomatoes, but the ones you get, they are nice size. Look at this one. That's an odd shape. A little indentation right there. But I'm sure it's still edible. <laughs> Here's my Roma bed. These have all set their fruit. I'm just letting these set here and ripen so I can pick those through the slush. All right, coming around here, more water. These are my purple hole peas and we had a storm about a week ago and a lot of wind. It just laid these peas down. They were standing up all nice and pretty and they just fell over. I tried to prop them up and they fell back over and I started breaking off some of the limbs and I just said, ugh, just leave it. So that's what I've done here. They are not pretty. Um, they're still alive and we'll see if they produce any purple hole peas for me. Got four rows of those eight foot rows so that would be about a 32 foot row of uh, purple hole peas. This is my uh, asparagus bed. Uh, these were bulbs. I'm not sure what kind of flower it's going to be. Um, but these are asparagus back in here and we won't be harvesting those until next year. But uh, if you're curious what asparagus looks like growing, this is what it looks like. You can see the asparagus come up. See how thin that is? You want to harvest them when uh, they're about a, the width of a pencil, diameter of a pencil. And uh, that's obviously not. So you just leave these first year and they uh, they start looking like this for a little while and you just leave them, just let them do whatever they want to do. So anyway, those were from roots that I planted those. Uh, more tomatoes back here. This is my still my Roma bed. Uh, patty pan squash uh, have done great. Uh, they did not want to stay in this 4x4 four four bed, so I let them escape. And they're still producing some nice squash for me. Very impressed with these squash. I will grow these next year. And from here on out, that'll be my third type of squash that I really love. I love the straight neck yellow squash. And the um, zucchini is probably my favorite. And this one is really getting close to being my second favorite. They are really good little squash. All right, this is a strawberry bed, not doing anything right now, but it does look nice. Put some netting around that. Look at my corn. It has tassels. I guess that's good. Um, I don't remember my corn getting tassels uh, this early last year. Um, but it looks like the ear is going to be forming here and maybe another one here, so that's good. Um, hopefully it'll dry out a little bit at the end of this week I'll be able to apply a little bit more fish fertilizer which is what I've been doing every week I feed them fish fertilizer liquid fish fertilizer and I also came in here um, a couple of days ago when I knew we were going to get this rain and put compost around the base of each plant mixed with a little bit of triple tin all along the base of these plants. My stabilization method has worked. 
we did have one bad storm that came and kind of knocked this stuff this way so I put some transverse boards um, that's what I would call them they're crisscross and you're going to be using those to stand them up that's what I use it for so uh, those are not attached by the way they're they're pretty loose so I I can just come in here and push that corn up whenever it falls over but uh, the corn looks good it's taller than I am now I'm about five nine half five ten so it's taller than me here's some okra these are Clemson spineless okra and they're doing okay um, I'm gonna be filling in these trenches with some more compost probably this weekend but you can see how wet this stuff is but again not as wet as this so huge advantage to those raised beds is the drainage I had some uh, patty pan in here and they were not looking good so I took them out I'm not doing anything with this bed right now probably won't probably will just wait for the fall to do something with that more corn doing good this one uh, these uh, are also getting tops on them looks like I think I saw some in here maybe it's around the back but here's one getting some uh, tassels uh, this is another bed of corn I started last week and this stuff is just taken off I don't know if it's because of the um, rain or maybe perhaps because this is where I had my green beans my bush blue lake green beans I did leave the roots in there for them to break down and uh, this corn is growing faster than this did in the beginning so it's doing good I'm hoping to harvest this by the time this gets to a height where I have to keep it propped up this is my ugly bed got some okra in the front uh, lemon cucumber this is just all ugh. I usually have my stuff a little more organized but there's a <laughs> there is a uh, eggplant right here I'm growing for my mom she eats eggplant I do not eat eggplant but it has some eggplant on them on there and I guess that it looks okay I don't know um, peppers doing okay kind of tall and this bed has changed this is now sweet potatoes and I'm gonna have to get some more soil in here and pile up around these sweet potatoes um, but I think I have 30 in here yeah 30 sweet potato plants or slips sorry this is uh, aromas I'm just waiting to harvest so I can throw these plants away because they're looking kind of ugly I still have lots of aromas on there this bed has been planted with more bush blue lake green beans I got three rows in there planted those the other night just before all this rain hit so I wouldn't be surprised if those beans were not up by this weekend we'll see this is one of my suckers from my uh, what is it? This is a cherry. You can see little cherry tomatoes. I'm glad I didn't uh, sucker those jelly bean. <laughs> so this is going to be a, um, a uh, cherry tomato. And you can see how I've kind of weaved it through there. I'm going to see if I can get it to go all the way across here. And I have another one over here that doesn't look as good. But I do have some tomatoes on it. So that's it. The garden has changed a little bit since I did my last update a few, uh, let's see, I was probably about 10 days ago. I'm not sure I have to look back, but here's a little quick view of everything. We're getting there with the corn. Okra's waiting for it to get hot and stay hot. Tomatoes are ripening up quickly and squash and Zooks are producing well. Just waiting for my Sprite melons. Um, that's it. That's it for the raised bed garden. Hope everybody's doing good and I appreciate you watching, leaving comments. And uh, y'all have a great week.